Tropical area we have been watching towards the south of Guam continues to show some slight organization while models continue to pick up on possible development. I'm meteorologist Robert Spender. Let's break down that in today's Western Pacific weather update. First, do want to give a shout out to all our Patreon members and everybody that follows us on Facebook and Twitter as well as westernpacificweather.com. Please do check them out. All right, let's talk about the weather map out here with our area of high pressure located north of Guam. This is extending all the way back towards Visayas. Parts of Mindanao still dry out there. Meanwhile, we also have another area over Luzon. Still that river of moisture and our shear line continuing to impact you. And, of course, our invest area. I'll get to that towards the north here in just a minute. But let's talk about this broad circulation part of this monsoonal trough located south of Guam now right now it is still very broad but we have plenty of convection to continue to flare up and the guidance is slowly starting to pick up on this and expecting it to shift towards the north and west over the coming days and as I've said time and time again this area is here the convection is there there is that broad circulation we just need it to get away from the equator because once you get about 5 10 degrees north you you start to get into that increased Coriolis force. So if we took a look at the model guidance and the broad circulation here shifting up as we go ahead to Tuesday and the Wednesday, increasing showers and breezy conditions across Yap and Palau right in there. Definitely going to be seeing some uh, much needed rainfall for our friends in Palau. They're just as dry as over there towards Mindanao. So you're going to get it, albeit it will be a couple days of just some sloppy weather more than likely. Watch this by Thursday heading the Friday, it moves into the Philippine Sea. Now, these dry and hot conditions we've been seeing across Visayas and Mindanao also has been seen over the Philippine Sea. Yeah, it's the ocean, but the waters have been heating up. So that means there's plenty of fuel. If we do get a low here, it could, could, lots of could, lots of possibilities here. And the ECMWF and GFS have both been uh, kind of hinting on that. At the very least, this is going to pump moisture in across uh, parts of Leyte, Samar, over towards Visayas, even into Manila. You could all be looking at an increase in rainfall. Still a lot of possibilities here, but I think just the general energy, even if we just have an LPA or just maybe a trough that's going to bring afternoon showers and convection, it will bring that much needed rainfall. But too strong, you know, that's when we can start to see some problems. At the very least, Invest 93W is going to start to move towards the northwest this upcoming week. Chance of an LPA over Palau in Yap and eventually increasing into the southern Philippines with some rainfall by the end of the week heading into the weekend. So we still got some time to watch this. There still is some uncertainties out here, but definitely want to continue to keep an eye on it. At the very least, places like Shargao, you've been dry out here. Our surfers like that easterly flow and all that good stuff. But by Friday and Saturday, all our friends into Shargao want to keep a close eye on it for you and just watch out. All right, so this is GFS by next weekend, by the way. It actually turns this further towards the north. And this is that uncertainty I'm talking about. GFS wants to pull it north. ECMWF actually pulls it west over southern Luzon into the size, keeps it on the weaker side. This is actually a very common tendency. GFS tends to recurve storms north. Um, the ECMWF tends to keep them west and weaker. Uh, in the past, in this time of year, the westward weaker trend is m more probable. Uh, but ontology would kind of dictate both outcomes. We really just need that low to get organized a bit more and see how that circulation uh, kind of uh, forms up here eventually before turning towards the north and west and bringing that rainfall. By the way, shear line set up and there's a river of moisture coming in all the way from Bay of Bengal, stretching back towards the north, uh, bringing some decent rain, afternoon showers. There's some videos out of Luzon uh, just over the past 24 hours. Some of you have sent me showing some pretty decent showers. So you don't need uh, a tropical system to get that rain. We're starting to see kind of that monsoonal flow for our friends back here in the north. And then you can see how this all wraps around the West Pack High. So in either case, a monsoonal flow or uh, what we're talking about with a tropical area, 
Flood water still could be a problem. Yes, much needed rain, but too much in a short period of time. Always keep in mind. And if we do get a tropical cyclone, know that I am not an official source. Make sure you get that from an official agency, Bagasa, or whatever your local weather agency. But always just be ready to go, and we'll always keep you posted if anything does develop. Of course, right now, still uncertain, still plenty of questions to be had with this area. I like this satellite imagery, water vapor imagery, showing that moisture cross Luzon. This is why I call it a river of moisture. Yeah, I mean, kind of a sheer line um, because you have that cool air towards the north, warm air in the south, but also it's that pumping of moisture and this satellite imagery, high resolution, that's why it only has a little square here, uh, just shows you what we're talking about with that moisture flow coming in from the south and west, and then the outlook kind of showing you as this runs across Okinawa, uh, Taiwan, all looking at some pretty decent showers uh, over the upcoming days while we continue to watch our system here towards the south and the possibility of development with that. So lots going on out here today, plenty to track. Let's talk about Tuesday's forecast across the Philippines though. The Val 35 degrees, Cagayan de Oro at 32. Still isolated showers in the higher elevations. We're still relatively dry across the size at this time. Isolated showers are possible for most of us. Still going to be dry. While scattered showers continue to remain a possibility with that river of moisture in those afternoon showers for our friends from Manila up towards Subic, Pangasinan, uh, San Fernando, even across Region 1. Definitely in Baguio, get those higher elevation to get that uplift of moisture running out across the mountains here. That could help trip some showers there uh, as well. Keeps you relatively cool though. Just a high of 25 Degrees. Cebu is going to be looking at Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday dry weather, but much like Shargao, you could see that influence of that moisture uh, coming in by Friday over towards Saturday. And while Baguio and the higher elevation is going to continue to see those chances of precipitation Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, heading into Saturday, thanks to just that continued uplift running up the hills out there. All right, and then we take a look out towards our friends in Okinawa. Yeah, you got the rainy season front continuing to dominate temperatures. If you're talking about Fahrenheit, into the high 70s to about 80 degrees. All right, massive thanks for everybody on Patreon. As I said, if you want to check out the, the uh, Patreon link is down below. Um, I'll never put this stuff behind a paywall, but it goes a long way to help out. It, we just actually had a, uh, not a super typhoon, which I can't thank you guys enough, but we just got a new uh, typhoon member. Uh, who just joined greg thank you very much greg bauman buman i want to say just a big shout out to you you just signed up here uh yesterday so big thank you shargao wake park uh laszlo antonio bill chuck curtis some of these people have been donating for over a year now and i can't stress enough just how much you really help out the channel not only on patreon but as well on youtube if you're watching at this point just want to give you guys a shout out that's part of the perks and of uh helping out here but the other main perk is that I can continue to do this. I can continue to make these updates, uh, especially once we get into tropical season, we continue to monitor these storm systems. I'll put out more and more. And if you notice, these updates are getting a little better, uh, mainly because I can get more equipment and help uh, just make them look good. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please let me know. And number one thing, of course, as always, is stay safe out there, friends. I hope you have a great day.